Hey, it's Eafried Eater. How's it going? It's time to start prepping the miniature for painting. One thing I didn't tell you about last time is of course you need an area to do the painting. I wouldn't normally paint on my table here. I would actually have some stuff down in my basement that's all set up. A pretty nice area for everything. But that area is really not the best for filming. So we're going to stay up here and I'm just going to use some newspaper. I have some newspaper downstairs anyway. You obviously don't want paint all over the place. So lay your newspaper out. And as I mentioned before, it's time to start uh, washing them off. So we got this little wizard man here. Uh, as I mentioned, there are some mold lines and various little like artifacts from uh, the molding process. You won't really be able to see me doing anything here, but I'll show you a before and after pick. Right now I'm just going to put on some soap. There he goes, he's all gooey. And I'm going to go wash it, I'll be right back. Alright, so here I'm going to put them in these paper towels and let them dry for a bit. Paper towels are actually a good thing to have when you're painting too. Because you can use it to take off the uh, water or extra paint on the brush. You use it to clean the brush. Uh, but right here we're just going to wait a little bit for the uh, miniature to dry. It'll take a couple minutes of course. All right, let's see how it's looking. All right, it actually seems pretty dry. I'm just gonna do some little spot uh, drying here. All right, and now it doesn't matter if it's a little wet, I'm gonna just remove some of the flash lines here. Basically the flash is where the mold came together. If you think about it, there's two parts and it's coming together and you're gonna have a little line there. It's not as prominent as in something like a literal like plastic army man, but you're still gonna have a small line. They do, they've, you know, improved this a lot over the years. Uh, but it's still there and I'm gonna just cut a little to remove that. Be sure you don't cut too far into the miniature or you will uh, have a very flat piece. Definitely make sure to cut off any little knobs or sort of tag pieces that are hanging off. Those will be pretty easy to notice. Generally, you can just kind of twist them off. When you have things like the bent staff, you can pretty much just push them back into place. Don't push too far, you're going to end up with a something that might get broken. If you push too many times, yeah, it's, it's probably going to break. So just... You know, be wary of that, just be gentle. Alright, there we go, it's pretty clean now. I'm gonna look it over a little bit. I'll show you before and after, and you can be the judge. Alright, now I'm gonna get started with actually priming this. Open up your primer. Get some water handy, and get your brush. You can use a bigger, older brush, or a, the other brush. I, I'm actually gonna go with the older brush. Have some paper towels again, like I mentioned. You don't need the knife or the soap anymore. And 
And basically, yeah, you just want to... I always water the primer down a little bit. And then I just start applying it to the miniature. There's not really a lot you can mess up here. I would just say don't apply too much primer that you lose details. But also make sure to cover every area. If you miss something, you can always get it later, though. I already see it taking shape a little bit. Taking shape, taking, taking hold, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it, but. If you notice anything you missed, be sure to go back and fix it now. The mold lines might not seem such a big deal, but once it's done, you, you really start to notice them. Alright, he is looking very frosty right now. Once it's done drying overnight, We'll be ready to apply the base coat, so come back next time. You can hit the subscribe button down below so you know when I'll be back. And don't forget to like and tell your friends and all that good stuff. Anyway, have a good one. See you next time. See ya.